Yo, what is going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to carry yourself out of gold elo on Warwick for beginners here in season 11 League of Legends. First things first, you wanna keep watch like I'm doing here in a safe spot. Don't be in a random forward brush. It is likely or at least possible the enemies will surround and kill you intentionally or unintentionally like Trundle randomly walked into us, probably trying to get a ward down. But since we were standing off here to the side, we could just run back to turret. Another really safe spot to stand is right here. So we, we see what they're doing. We're not taking any damage, but we are stopping them from doing some dumb cheese. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but ideally you would be laying your ward around the 50 second mark and recalling for oracles. This particular game, I am not going to be able to do that because... They were doing shenanigans. I had to stay a long time. If they are doing shenanigans, you don't want to lay your ward early because they might break it with sweeper. So I am getting over here a little late, but it's not the end of the world. We got our Q first. Gonna auto attack Q it. On Warwick, you want to do a four to five camp clear. Generally, if you want to invade the enemy, then it's just going to be four camp invade or three camp invade. I we'll see. We'll see if we want to invade. We're going to smite immediately on our Gromp to get it low, to get the extra attack speed off of our W. We're gonna max our W first, Q second, and E last. For our runes, we decide to go for the Conqueror, Triumphant, and with Last Stand, with Revitalize and Conditioning. I've been trying this a lot more in Like It A Lot. You can still take Sorcery Secondary or Domination Secondary, it works just fine. You wanna get one auto attack on each of the Little Wolves to basically apply your burn passive from your jungle item. But you want to put your Q on the big wolf because your Q does max health damage. So you see how they're all low now. And then we can just finish off the camp. At this point, we do want to get our E. And we'll go ahead. We, you can actually take wraps into red and then do scuttle 315. But I would rather be full HP gank into scuttle. The nice thing about ganking then doing scuttle is you're giving yourself lane prio to where your laner can back you up ideally. So our Corky is mid. Does he have lane prio? No, not really. Does our top have prio? No, it's NASA, so of course not. Uh, we might try something on this trundle. Actually, we're, we're not. We'll just cross through mid. This is too sus. Playing for Nasus early is bad. Like Nasus, Vladimir, Twisted Fate, that type of stuff, it's really hard. We'll give top scuttle, I think. We're just waiting for scuttle, basically. So we're just sitting on a gank. Trundle's missing. So, yeah, there we go. We're in a W, run out of bush. All right, we're not going to get an assist, but, I mean, he died, so it, <laughs> I guess it is what it is. I could have flashed and maybe stopped him. Looks like Vio is most likely on top scuttle right now. You'll generally be getting level 4, close to level 4 off of Scuttle Crab. I got some minion XP, so I got it pretty easily. Get another point into our W. We're going to walk in behind these guys. We're going to auto attack Q. We got down our fear. Mm, don't think we quite pinched that, actually. I really do want to kill him here. I don't think we can, though. gonna auto attack q through get down our fear i think this is a double yes sir it's a double i'll go ahead and stay for his golems his bot lane can't punish me and my bot lane's here to back me up that was really greedy of the enemies it's a lot more common this season to see a lot of zigs or at that type of stuff bot lane i think it just bugged out because it was showing this was yellow which means 10 seconds or less yeah it's, it's a it's bugged I'll, I'll go for this, but that's really annoying. That took forever. I'm gonna go ahead and just like back right here. These golems should leave me alone. I don't know why it's fucking with me. We're gonna all attack Q through. Get down the fear. Got the kill. We're healing like crazy because of our passive, basically. So, not bad. Make sure you use your Qs and auto attack resetter. At this point, we just need to back off. We're gonna wait over here. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna reset right here. The ward can't see us, so he doesn't know where we are. Yep. 
All right, first item, depends on how much gold you have. I have the gold to get exactly what I want. So ideally on your first pack, you should obviously get oracles if you don't already have it. Uh, I'm actually gonna go top here, this looks free. But yeah, you should get oracles if you don't already have it and a TM mat. If you can't afford TM mat, you'll usually just get a sheen if that's all you can afford. But ideally you do get TM mat so you have the, so you can take golems and raptors. If you don't have TM mat, taking golems and raptors is pretty hard. Very, very hard. The main thing on work is you don't want to die. And you also have to get like some kind of gank or something going pre six. This is warded. Really sucks. I'm playing a little bit too much around topside. It's my biggest mistake so far this game. Playing around Nasus is just really bad. There you go. Got Dragon for his team. I'll take his topside. I think Trundle's going to back because all he has is a D blade. So he's most likely going to want to go spend his gold. I think Vico's crossing into me here. I'm just gonna reset. This is super sketchy. If I stay, most likely Trundle's gonna walk into me. We saw Vigo cross through mid, so. Yeah, he just walked into me. And it told him I was there. If someone's invisible and you can see them, it'll put an exclamation point above their head. So it literally told him I was there, like right at, as my recall finished. So on Warwick, you're usually looking to hit level six before seven minute 30 if possible. It's okay if you hit an eight minute mark. This game, we do have a lot of kill goal, but not that much CS because we've been ganking so much. And like that gank mid, we didn't get any assists or anything for it because we didn't do any damage, but we'll go bot lane. A lot of times you play around your blood sense for the movement speed. So if your teammates can set that up for you, it's really, really good. Ideally, if, when you take blue and gromp at the same time, you want to auto the gromp, Q the blue, because your Q does max health damage, and uh, blue's tankier than gromp, so I think it's something to think about. Uh, they're right there. I think I'm just dead, though. Yeah, it sucks. There's really no one reacting. The enemies were just kind of ready for it. They've been pretty good at uh, reacting to stuff. We'll get our arm, we'll be fine. I'm gonna sell my control ward. Man, if I could get Lucidities, I don't know what this Vigo's doing. If Jin's paying attention. Oh, wow, Jin actually walked into the... Oh, oh wow, okay. I don't know how that happened. I don't not level six yet. Well, I do have several blood sense around the map, so. See if we can take these same time. I don't think we can. I think the wraps are about to. Ooh, okay. We actually did it. That's pretty clean. I thought I didn't pull the wraps far enough up, but we did. Nice. Neat. I would definitely don't do that if you don't have team out yet. I'm gonna arm after you fear you never like if possible you never want to r on warp before you use your fear this guy's annoying i'm gonna mute him i'm helping him push the wave i'm not even taking the minions from him after you like get that's so you they can get the plates and it, it makes you see how silas is dead he's gonna silas is gonna miss every single minion like that's why you help push but some people don't get that just like make sure you're not Oh my god, so annoying. I think I'm just dead here. Yeah, I'm just dead. That sucks. I hate that so much. I have absolutely no clue why their bot lane rotated into that. <laughs> rotated into that. That just doesn't make sense to me, but... Uh, they rotated there. I guess they knew I was on Raptors. They just guessed interesting we're gonna go ahead keep going into our i'm actually just gonna pick up my lucidities at this point lucidities are ungodly op if you didn't go for tenacity in your runes you could also go for played still caps that's a good option you don't have to go for conquer conquer is just op in the current steric meta any melee champion who can build ad item steric is op on whether that's Kane or Riven, Aatrox, Warwick, Kalawi, it's just really, really strong.
Wish I had my R. I could have killed Maokai and uh, the Zerath there. That room was very interesting. R is still on cooldown. It's coming up here. We'll be looking for a gank. Most likely going bot. We want to stay away from the Nasus as much as possible. It's just a weak lane. This game, ideally, we should have started top and path towards bot, so we would have done like red into our blue side. Nice. That's actually really good. Nice. Got off the fear in the Q. You don't want to E before you're close to. Why does that turret do 10 million damage to me? That was insane. <laughs> it hit me with two shots and I almost died. But uh, yeah, you don't want to E until you're within like auto range almost. If you E too soon, they'll just walk away from you and you won't even get to use your fear. If you're going to win on Warwick late game, you have to have Dragon Soul. Otherwise, his late game is actually pretty weak. With that being said, Conqueror and Conditioning scales really well really well on Warwick. He's on my wraps. He's being a little rat. We have 5 out of 8 KP. Pretty good. Diego only has 4 out of 7. So he has less KP. We're doing all right. I've been out of position a couple of times. Enemies have had some interesting roams. Yeah, they're, they're all topside right now. We just saw Viego right there. I'll go mid here in a second. Whenever you're in deep, you want to see how the enemies are reacting. And none of them are reacting, so I don't think they know I'm here. It's either that or they don't care. I'm gonna W. I'm gonna fear him under turret. I'm not gonna get the kill gold. It's alright. Shove wave, get some XP. I do not know where Yumi's going. I'm just gonna R this guy. I don't have Q. I don't want to do this. I'm out of mana. I couldn't attach to the Trundle, I mean to the Maokai, because of his snare. I could still Q him, but it didn't follow him because of his R snare, which is unfortunate. I was, I was just going to die there. It is what it is. We'll start to get a bit stronger in fights once I have my Sterics. Sterics on work, you can get second item. You don't have to get Titanic first or second. You only really need the team out so you could take Raptors properly. I'm being robbed of my topside jungle constantly by the Trundle and Viego and Borderline Silas, so we're a bit low on CS. It's all right. I'm actually really strong against their team comp. They don't have the right team to kill me in a fight, you'll see. All I need is Sterix. They don't have any consistent damage. And you're going to say, oh, what about the Viego and Trundle and Silas? They can't hurt you. They're melee. I can triple fear them. If I triple fear them, what, they can't. Oh, God, I reset my camps. It's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. It happens. What do we get Silas here in a second? Silas, Silas should stop stealing Corky's R and just save it until I gank him so he can get my R so he doesn't die. Like, stealing Corky R doesn't do anything. Actually, I'm surprised that was awarded. I'm gonna go for this. Okay, never mind. Do, 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 do. I might go for Silas here. Ideally, you don't want to look at yourself unless you need to. Look elsewhere. Alright, I'm coming. Corky got him low. This is free. I don't think... Viego would dare do anything here. He's probably gonna go for my red buff. I don't I don't know. It could already be gone since I went blue side is the thing. Okay, he didn't. Okay, he probably already took it, is what's going on. He's doing a lot of damage. Wow. That's a lot of damage. He lost his turret. Q attached, he's dead. 
you can hold down hover your cursor over them while you after you land your r hover your cursor over them and then hold down q and even if they flash frame for frame when they come out of your r your q will automatically attach and take you with them it's really op oh no you mean you really should have stayed with me <laughs> you missed it that was weird i pushed deeper into their jungle i saw they were collapsing i didn't want to die uh, there's no way for me at that point. We'll play it for the dragon. Dragon soul. Flame soul is really, really good in general. We'll go for Styrix next. Actually, we'll pick up Bramble in the Styrix. The absolute... Okay, Yumi got heal cut. We'll just go Styrix then. If we had no heal cut, I'd have to go Bramble. Because of... Viego's a self-healer. Silas is a self-healer. Trundle's a self-healer. Like We'd actually have to go Bramble. But since Yumi got some heal cut, her R will AoE apply it, reduce their healing of all sources by 40%. I'm on my way. They're really low. The lower they are, the faster you get. Maokai is super low, so. He's laying lots of wards. Got it. I have on my fear right now, so they're not really killing me. And then I R him after I feared him, so he can't juke it. Oh, that was a beautiful snare. All right, we'll just walk through this turret. Take one shot, 424, that's insane. Even with my conditioning 13 bonus armor, that's like a free cloth armor. I have a free cloth armor and a free null magic mantle, if that's even what it's still called. Uh, yeah, it's still called Null Magic Mantle. Why didn't they rename this? But they renamed so many other items this season. But they didn't rename this one. It's such a bad name. Someone in the Riot higher ups. That, that, uh, they named that personally, I guess. Checking for wards. We're pushing up. Only because we have Yumi on us. If Yumi wasn't on us or ours down, we wouldn't be doing this. We're going to be going bot lane here in a second. We're just like holding the flank. And now that we see him, we're going to step up. Oh, we're about to walk into minions. You see how they're crossing through? That would have seen us as we crossed through that. So I just have to wait. He's probably on this. Oh, he's not on that. I'm actually kind of surprised. Actually, I'm going to take this real quick because I get my level 2R off of this. That was actually worth. Level 2 R is quite a bit better. It's an extra two, nearly 200 damage. We're going to W. Normally you don't W this early, but since we're really far behind them, they have nowhere to go anyways. Yeah, we're going to auto attack, then Q. We're going to fear him. I'm not even going to R this guy. I was going to save it for the Trundle. There's Maokai. He's chilling. It's hard chilling. I'm gonna go stop that Herald Lay. If my W is up, I'd use it for that extra movement speed and attack speed. It's a very girthy amount. You can't use it once you're in combat in terms of the active. I got you, buddy. This is what I'm saying. Like, they literally can't kill me now. Like, none of them could fight me 1v1 at all. The only ones who can kind of fight me is 1v1 is kind of Viego, but not really. I'm going to take his red buff now. He's going to watch from the closet like a good Viego player. Yep, got the red buff. My R's on cooldown, so there's no reason to stay. The ward can't see me from there. No ward from there can really see me either. And we have... Sterix, that's awesome. Now we're gonna buy control ward. Like I said, guys, you can go press the attack. Press the attack's really good, especially if your team doesn't have one. Like no one on my team has press the attack, but also, like I said, Sterix is so good right now that makes Conqueror really good for Warwick. If you're gonna go Resolve Tree secondary, you kind of have to go Conqueror. It's just for hyper scaling. If you're playing purely for early game, go Domination Relentless Hunter. You don't, also, you don't have to go Lucidity Boots. You can go Plated Steel Caps. They're really good too. You could go for Merc Treads if you didn't take any Tenacity as well. I kind of want to go Bot. I don't know how many people are going to be there though. 
I'm gonna stand here and wait for a second. All right, we'll bot. He's in my W range. We hover. We'll use it since we're behind him. You never want a W early, unless you you're like cutting off their escape route, which we are. We're gonna fear him under the turret. <laughs> He's dead. I don't know how Yumi got that kill. Whatever. Kills don't really matter as long as you and your team are winning. That's kind of what matters. It's a little frustrating. Like. We, we did really well early, but then we were playing really aggressive and just getting caught out by their team in the mid game. Kind of annoying. Happens though. Just don't like freak out and flame your team. You don't be like, oh, why didn't you guys ping? That was, that was my fault. I should have looked on the mini map and I would have been fine. If you're ever going to invade, you have to be looking on the mini map. I'm just kind of tired right now. Yeah, I'm still like, <laughs> they barely just popped my sterics. He could hit me with all three of those and I'm not going to die. Like, that's just the funny thing about it. Because I'm just nowhere close to death. Ah, uh, Corky's a rat. He stole the big one. I'm going to reset. I'm going to play for Dragon. There's nothing else to do here. I don't. We don't have ours. And Zerath can clear that wave pretty comfortably. I'll go ahead and finish my Titanic. Titanic gives really good on-hit damage. I could also go for a Bork. We have speed up into him at the moment. He's about to get above half health though. And we're gonna lose it. Then we're gonna have to use W active. Yep, there's W active. We'll run this guy down. I wish Jin had an R. This Yumi, oh, the Yumi slow didn't land. That sucks. He's gonna speed himself up here in a second. There we go. There's Yumi slow. He's so fast, dude. I actually can't keep up with him. I mean, uh, ooh, I missed that. <laughs> that was a whiff. I don't even know where my cursor was when I pressed that. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, what are you going to do, Maokai? You ain't going to do anything. Oh, I didn't die, I think. <laughs> I thought my Q smite would kill it. We'll go for dragon now. Basically, when you're ahead, don't greet out. We're not just going to randomly run at them. We don't need to. We're in the position of power. We're going to take every objective while they hide in the closet. Like this scared, scared children that they are. Oh, no. We got the snare. We're going to attack you through. We still got that dragon. That's awesome. screwed buddy ah oh, i've lost vision i was almost in range that was close what is I, I could probably kill him we just don't really need to uh two of them are dead right now nasus basically isn't even in this game I'm gonna auto attack that I'm gonna arm because my fear just barely ended and I already know this guy's flash is on cooldown so he can't dodge it. I'm gonna heal off this after the heal cut ends. There we go. Got all of our health back. And we haven't even, they haven't even popped our sterics, but we got them back. They're tearing up our base. Nasus is struggling to, to figure out what's going on right now. <laughs> he, he, he rushed the wrong item. You don't want to go Frozen Heart Rush against Trundle. Trundle steals your your armor magic resist with his R. You want to go for like Divine Sunder into, against Trundle. I'm going to have to eat early to try to stop his back. There we go. Auto attack Q. He's dead. Auto attack Q reset is OP. Too strong. In a lot of ways, Warwick is similar to Rengar. Very simplistic champion. He's arguably underpowered. But if you are playing him properly, he, you can surprise your opponents and make a lot of plays. For sure. I don't know where Yumi's going. Wandering around a bit. <laughs> Running off to the abyss. Mm. I don't know who laid this. It looks like it was him. a lot of damage it's about 500 damage off of one little sapling and i have a free 12 magic resist i'm gonna keep saying that throughout this game i have free magic resist 12 oh, 
I thought we were pushing bot. What happened? All of a sudden, the wave's back here. I am not looking on the minimap at all. Perma looking at the minimap's better. Like right now, what's the point of looking at myself? I can see myself on my minimap right there. I'll just look over here. Okay, you keep looking at you look on yourself at the minimap, but you look at like what's happening with the real the real look like this. Dude, you're high if you think you can fight me, Viego. I could have turned and just murdered Viego, most likely. Felt a little sus because he had so many teammates though. But you my goodness. I'm so confused. Get off the fear, that's my autos. Oh, I'm just gonna die now. Oh, maybe not. Get off the fears. Yes. Yes, sir. That's Warwick. He's gonna hit me with another sapling or something. I have my E though. Like, it doesn't matter, my E. My E will save me. That's the power of Warwick, baby! This is why the Conquer Revitalized setup is so good. You get in these late game fights, I was just fighting like 1 versus 3, 1 versus 4 there and still came out on top. Don't worry, we're gonna make sure this Nasus gets a win, guys. We're gonna save him. I'm actually kinda glad Yumi died that fight so you guys could see what Warwick can look like without a Yumi on him. And... I know I'm pretty fed, but still. Like, he was two full items. He was almost two full items. He's a full item and a half plus he'll cut. Viego's two full items and a half to where it's like... I'm not that much more fed than they are necessarily. Like, I'm sitting on a lot of gold that I haven't spent yet. So, like, at the time, I wasn't that much bigger than them. I'm just gonna arm. I don't wanna... Risk him killing my gen. I don't know how much damage he's gonna do. I'm gonna W for the movement speed bonus. Since he wasn't below half health. Might as well. This guy's being obnoxious. I'm gonna cue that. My art is on cooldown. We'll play for this dragon soul right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> he almost died. Alright, let's grab this dragon. This is soul. We're gonna save our... Towards the end, we're going to have a Q ready for a, a Q smite combo. Guess Nasus can get that. I'm going to Q smite this in a second. There we go. We have, we have Dragon Soul and Viego dies. That's unlucky for them. We're going to W active to run this guy down. Where is it? It's over here. This is why you don't play on lock screen, guys. Lock screen, perma lock screen is not good for you. Oh, you're cute. Look at that healing. Holy crap. Yumi didn't even heal there. That was just like my healing. Oh, that is some damage. Hey, buddy. I should have queued. I queued late. There we go. We went through a snare with our Q. That's why you generally always hold down your Q. You can dodge CC with it, knockups, and everything, really. Your R dodges everything when you're in midair. Q dodges mainly displacements. And that is it, guys. If you enjoyed this Warwick jungle commentary guide for beginners, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.